Okay. So some rules for Ktwa Pratyam so that we have seen today, Ktwa and Lyap, both Pratyams are there. So either it is Ktwa or you can also have Lyap here. Lyap comes only when there are some Upasargas to the Dhatu. So the Dhatu takes on Ktwa Pratyam uh, when it is used by itself and when there is an Upasarga in front of it, like for example, we saw Agachati. Then there is another Pratyaya which joins, which is called Lyap. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the same subject, a Karta, does two actions. He does one action after the other. These two actions are done successively. Let's say uh, Sita Pathati and then Sita Khadati. The example I've taken here is opposite. So Gauri Ado Khadati. So she first eats and then she reads. After that, she studies. Now, the first earlier verb, which is done earlier, the action that is done earlier, takes on ktva pratyaya. Pratyaya is a suffix that you add. Like how you add ti for uh, gachati. Gacha is the datu. When you want to express it in Vartamanakala, you add ti behind it to express it in Vartamanakala. Right? Present tense. Gachati, pathati, ityadi. So in the same way that ti is like a pratyaya there, it is a suffix. In the same way here also, when you want to say after having done some action, she does another action. So the karta should be the same. Uh, the karta does two actions, one after the other. The first action will take on ktva pratyam. Okay. There are some rules with regarding to how you add that ktva pratyam. Some very basic rules uh, because it will be confusing when we say pat datu and add ktva, pathitva comes in. Whereas when we see drishe and uh, we add ktva, we don't say drishitva but we say drishtva. So there are rules for those things. There are exceptions to uh, the verbs as usual. So some basic rules are when the verb does not end in an arch, if it does not end in uh, uh, a vowel, for, there are other rules also to it. This is not take this as at this level, this is how you understand it. Okay. So when verbs do not end in arch, then E is added before the twa pratyaya. What remains in Tva, like in Khadi Tva, you only see Tva of this Ik Tva. So the K portion is removed and only Tva remains in the final verb. Now let's take one verb like Pathe. You have Tva. There the K is removed and E is added. So you have Pathi Tva here. Is it clear? This is how you are going to add for verbs which do not end in ach. Any vowel. A, e, u, r, l. Now, next is if you have ma and na ending verbs, then you remove that ma and na and then add twa to whatever is remaining. So let's say nama is the dhatu, namati, namaskaram, karoti. So after saha, shishyaha, namati, saha, tataha, padhati. He first uh, bows to the teacher and then he reads. Then you remove the ma first and then add twa to it and say natva. Is it clear? So saha shishyaha natva pathati. After reading, uh, sorry, after uh, uh, doing namaskaram, he reads. Okay. These are some rules which you can uh, follow, but for many things, you know, uh, at this stage, it will come by association. The more you read, the more you practice uh, those words, it will automatically fall in place for you. But if the same dhatu, which ends in ma, but let's say the earlier letter is of the same varga, as in pa, pa, ba, ba, ma, like for example, brahma, if you have a dhatu, brahma, where ma and bha are in the same varga, then you will go back to a, which is e and tva, brahmitva. You don't do bhratva. You don't do tattva in that. So tana here also, ta and na fall in the same varga. So you do tanitva. Okay. 
some rules and then for ach is the easiest the moment you see the datu kr you just join twa and say kritva shuru shrutva nya gnyatva it's the easiest way to do this after knowing after doing there are exceptions to this which as in when you read you will understand those things so i will send this uh, uh, worksheet and you can work on that just something to and there will be also translations in that and you can work on it maybe on monday uh, we can do it in class okay uh, <clears throat> now when you add a upasarga to the dhatu say apa hr and then you will have lyap so that lyap the formation of lyap also is very different because twa is very simple i gave you those rules for lyap and tumun and all that you just go by uh, whatever you grasp in or read in the lessons as you go okay because the rules there are very complicated for uh, understanding now now these are all avyayas the sense for every vibhakti it is all the same because it is an avyaya there it is an indeclinable it doesn't have any specific shabda okay um next is ha in the kta pratyaya upavishtah aagatah these two are past participle tholunga they can, can add a little bit yeah i just want to say like for people who are wondering why when the pratyaya is kta why that kakara is not seen in the form or when the pratyaya is lyap why the la and the pa are not seen in actual form like you say agamya apahritya why is that the case it's because those pratyaya forms like twa and lyap are given by panini in a packaged manner panini has put metadata in the pratyaya so the kakara is metadata it tells you how to use the pratyaya there are some rules it brings in so but when using the actual pratyaya the, you have to remove the packaging the metadata so the ka goes away and you're left with twa similarly for lyap also the beginning la is metadata the ending pa is metadata they have a purpose that's how panini gives all his pratyayas they come packaged you have to remove the packaging the packaging uh, comes with instructions you remove all the uh, packaging and the raw form is different that's why you find all these pratyayas having one sound like ta or twa but when you use it certain letters don't come i just wanted to add that for the beginners yeah. 100% beginners yeah 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 absolutely um <laughs> <laughs> so the app but question yeah you need that ha huh. uh, question mahodeya yes you said uh, these are um, what is it Indi- uh, those this these don't change the form right Different yes avya 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 can you give me or can you give us one example about because when you say upper hutia right for example even it's like taking away right um yes. type of thing correct mm. uh, that is a verb correct and what is this verb to do with vibhakti no 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 so the verb has been changed into a kridanta so that is it there are suffixes added to it wherein the meaning changes the applicability changes and it can no longer okay let me give you an example and then see uh, whether you understand that okay now uh, noun form ah mari irukku but then it's also uh, okay because he understands it as a verb yeah so let's do this okay one chhatra uh, the same let's take the same example chhatra namati um tatah pathati okay now i'm when i change this using twa pratyaya i'm going to say chhatra natva pathati okay mm-hmm. now how do you say this for two three people doing the same action give me the first sentence and give me the second sentence chhatra namanti uh, you change the verb yeah then tata patanti okay now use the tva pratyam 
The name vibhakti is used for both nouns and verbs by Panini, not just for nouns. Okay. Okay. Vibhakti is not nouns just and verbs. and verbs. In verbs also you have Pratama Purusha, Ek Vachanam, Dio Vachanam, Bahu Vachanam, right? Correct. Matri yeah. Purusha, Uttam Purusha. All hmm. those variations are also called vibhakti. Okay. Okay. None of the pratyayas are added to it after mm-hmm. that. Okay. So yeah. it's you actually this is a noun form where you add su and then sup like in a chatraha where you have the visarga you add but then it is removed for this. So it just remains in that format. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. For okay. now it's good for now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We can move on to the next lesson. Uh, so, any questions with this lesson? I don't know. Safer, this lesson for you, by the fuck, man. You want to tell me, take away this page. See, you know, the thing is, there is, there are so many technical things that need to be addressed here, which you cannot do at this stage. Because right. when we studied also, we did not go through the technical aspects of all these things. Mm. We just understood it as is and mm. proceeded. So, mm. poga poga, you will accumulate and yeah. you will start learning all these things. Right. You do a lot of exercises beyond this book, then you will understand. Any famous shloka with uh, Tva Mahode that you can think of, a common one? Uh, that is uh, that one required me to my mind. That's for Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi, right? Ramesh ji and others who know Stotras, for them, like, I am trying to think of Initwa. Any common manas varla manas varla ipo. If I think of something, tumun varde but idu varla tuwa varle. The first shloka itself in Samudra Lahari has tumun, so I'm uh, thinking of that. Like apa har tum shuru tum ga tum na. Prabhavi tum na che devam devo na khalu kushala spandi tum upi na varo. Natwa. Sakrim Natwa Natwam Kathamabisatam Sanne Dadate Madhukshi Radraksha Madhri Madhuri Naaf Padita Yaha. That's the 15th Shloka. Of Samudra Lahari? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Sharad Jyotsna Shuddham Shashiyuta Jatajuta Makutam Makutam Varatrasatrana Sphatika Ghutika Pustaka Karam Sakrit Natwa Natwam Kathamapi Ah, Ekavaram Natwa Kathamapi Satam Sanne Dadate Madhukshi Radraksha Madhuri Madhuri Naaf Padita Yaha. Vidadhati. So, uh, Tvam Natva, Saraswati Rupam Tvam Natva, uh, Kavitani Likhati, Panitihi Likhati. So, Yada Tada Prayogaha is, uh, I think we read in the shloka, in the lesson. So, Yada, when something happens, then this thing happens. So, yada ghanta bhavati, tada balaha paathashalam prati agachanti. So, when the uh, bell rings, then. In English, we do not use then. Usually, we say when it rings, this happens. That then is actually understood. Here also, in many cases, in shlokas, you will find uh, yada may not have been mentioned, tada may not have been mentioned. But it's best to mention both of that in context. So, yada uh, uh, guru hu agachati, tada chatraha uttishtanti. Uh, yada meghaha uh, varshati, tada sasyani utpadyante. So, when the rain falls, the crops are, uh, uh, you know, utpadyante, they are born. So, in, the, in that sense, you use when and then. This yada tada again is an abhyaya. 
Okay. What uh, did you use for crops? Sasyani. Vrihayaha. Ha, we have seen Vrihi also. Vrihyaha. Vrihayaha. Sasyani is also another word for crops. Okay. Ha. Next, uh, we'll move on to the next uh, lesson. It's an easy it lesson. It comes in um, Sasya Shamalam. Ah, Mataram. Mataram. Yeah. Hindi. Yeah. Mataram. Adlavaru. Sasya Shamalam. This is a fairly easy lesson. Uh, you just need to know the relations here. Uh, anybody wants to start? I can, I can try. start. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Arun Mahadeva. Okay. Pita. We started. Ha. Huh. Rade. Shodasha Pataha. Start off with the earlier Shodasha Pataha, 16th lesson. I think two people can actually read it. Ha. Huh. Conversation. And Pita and other. Yeah. So Sujan also, and, yeah. You can respond to the Pita statement. Ashok. Uh, Shodasha Pataha. ಪಿತಾರೋಲ್ ರಾಧೆ ಬಂಧು ಜನ ಬೋಧಯಾಮಿಟ್ ಬಂಧು ಜನ about relative bandhu janam bodhayami i will make you understand who a relative is hmm? shuru listen to it listen okay bandhu nama kah hmm. what are the names of the relatives ha ban na na bandho nama kah na potrunda then it is sixth case you can say what is the name of a relative so bandhu nama kah who is a relative okay ಬಂಧು ನಾಮ ನಾಮ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ಹಾ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೀಡ್ ದಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಜನ್ಮನ ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿವಾಹೇನ ಚಂಬೋಧೋ ಸಂಬಂಧೋ ಸಂಬಂಧೋ ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿವಾಹೇನ ಚಂಬಂಧ ಜನ್ಮನ ಬೈ ಬರ್ತ್ ವಿವಾಹೇನ ಬೈ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಬಿ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಜನ್ಮನ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನಕಾರಾಂತ ಜನ್ಮ ಜ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ತೃತೀಯ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ನಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಕಾರಾಂತ ನಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ಜನ್ಮನ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಂಡ್ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ವಿವಾಹ ವಿವಾಹೇನ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ವಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿವಾಹೇನ ಬೈ ವಿವಾಹ ಸೇರ್ ಬೈ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಬರ್ತ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ನಾರ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿವಾಹೇನ ಯು ಸೇ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ವಿವಾಹಾಂತ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ವಿವಾಹ ಶಬ್ದ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ಸಂಬಂಧ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಹೆಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಓ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿವಾಹೇನ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಭವತಿ A relation, sambandha, happens because of vivaha and birth. Huh. Next sentence. Tava mama cha kaha sambandha. Tava mama putri asi. 
Uh, wait, uh, ho hold on. Let's go okay. by the meaning and then yeah. go to the next sentence. Uh, that is you. What uh, what am I to you in relation? Uh, so, in the Tamil language, clear in your language. So, it's very easy. In the English, what is the relation between you and me? Mm. Okay, so between is actually for sixth case also. Among, among you and me. Between you and me. Mama so is that will mine. Tava is yours, right? Yes. So how does it Tava? Tava yeah, is your and mine. What is your relationship? Sorry, I'm bringing in Hindi in here. <laughs> Absolutely. It's very easy to do it in any other Indian language. But uh, in English, when you use between, between also is expressed in sixth case. That's what I'm trying to say. When you look at the table, you'll have of, belonging to, among, among two people, among these two people, which is you and me. Why is it not Twam Mama Chakha? Ninu Nanu Yenna Samadona Kolokela Pesra Marir. Unakum Yanakum Yenna Samadana Kekha. There should be that way through my Urubu. You will have to have that. Okay. So, Unakum Yanakum Yenna Kuaga Ku Varnamolion, there are other than belonging to. Wow. So in English, it doesn't translate properly, right? Yeah, it does in the sense what a relation exists between you and me. So that's what I'm trying to oh. say that between is in sixth case, is expressive of sixth case. Okay. Tvam mama putri asi. Aham tava pita asmi. Translate. Tava mata mama patni bhavati. Aham tasya patni asmi. Sorry. Hold on. Go on. Now, first translate the first three sentences and then move on. Tvam, you, mama. Uh, tum meri putri ho. <laughs> okay. tumhara pita hu. <laughs> yeah. So, am you I are do? my daughter. You are my daughter. Uh, I am your father. Uh, aham tava pita asmi. Now, please do not write this, uh, uh, that S here. Remove it. It's only pita asmi as in one word, and that is split into pita plus asmi. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Your mother is my wife. Hmm. Okay. So, tava mata, your mother, mama patni, my wife. Huh. Aham tasyaha patihi asmi. Hmm. Evam shekara tava bhata. Mama putrascha bhavati. Uh, aham tasya uh, bhavati. I, I am her husband. Okay. And Shekhar is your brother, is, my, is also my son. Uh, evam in this manner. In this evam manner. in this evam. manner. Uh, Shekharaha. Shekhar is Shekhar. your brother, Tava Bhrata. Mama Putrascha. How do you split Putrascha? Putraha and Cha. Yes. Hmm. Asya Tvam Bhagini Bhavasi. Hmm. You are his sister. Hmm. Shekhar. Mama Bhrata Tava Kitrisho Bandaha. Bandhu. Bandhu, sorry. Band, ah. Bandhu. Uh, hey, Shekhar. My brother is what what relationship to you? Uh, what sort of a relative? What, right? what, what sort of a relative? What, uh, kind, so of relationship what kind of relative what to you? Relative? Bandhuhu, bandhu janaha, uh, mm -hmm. bandhavaha, all these are the same pariyayavachi, synonyms for a relative. No. Hmm. Pituhu, brata, pitravyaha, kalu. Hmm. Pituhu Bhrata, Pituhu uh, father's son, father's, father's brother. brother isn't uh, is Priti Pitravyaha. What is Pitravyaha? Elder brother? Father's elder brother, brother. Adil, any brother. It can be elder or younger. He is Pitravyaha. Peripa Chitapa, Ella Pitravyaha Danga. Hmm. 
ज्येष्ठ पितृव्य बीन पितु भ्राता इज ईक्वल टू पितृव्य ओके ओके सो ही इज आस्किंग व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ रिलेशन इज माय ब्रदर टू यू एंड सो ही सेज माय फादर्स ब्रदर इज पितृव्य 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 खलु खलु ही इज नेमिंग खलु इंडीड खलु इज एन अव्यय एंड ही सेज इट इज इंडीड uh the, these are all he is naming all the relatives sister sister in law aunt uncle abdina these are all names right so in the same way you are naming the relatives in sanskritam this lesson but the, but the trick question here arun is what is pituhu which what is the ah, that's what i was going to ask next <laughs> sorry no they stole your thunder <laughs> no 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 that's fine <laughs> pituhu is fathers ah, fathers is fine shashti vibhakti is also fine Yeah, what is? But yeah. I want the I want it in that format. What anta? What shabda? Oh, it is a pitru shabda. Okay. Uh, Before that, rakara anta. Ah. Eka vachanam ah pullinga. Rakara anta pullinga ha pitru shabda ha shasti vibhakti eka vachanam. Eka vachanam. Okay. Ah, go by that format. Okay. Ah. Ah. आम मामा भगिनी सो यस यस सिस ही इज आंसरिंग पितृव्य राइट सो मामा भगिनी व्हाट अबाउट माय सिस्टर हां इट्स अ क्वेश्चन पितुः भगिनी पितृ श्वसा किल हम पितुः भगिनी फादर सिस्टर इज पितृ श्वसा there. The same way here, pitre plus swasa. Swasa is a sister. Swasr shabda. Okay. Swasa is sister. So pitre plus swasa, pitre swasa. Swasa. Pitre swasa. Hmm. Pitre swasa is father's sister, bhagini. Okay. Ha. Huh. Radhi. तव मातु भ्राता कीदृश बंधु राधे राधे योर मदर ब्रदर इज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप रिलेटिव ऑफ रिलेशनशिप व्हाट आई टेल मी व्हाट इज दिस वर्ड राधे दिस इज संबोधन विभक्त सो राधा राधा सो आकारांत स्त्रीलिंग राधा शब्द संबोधन विभक्ति संबोधन प्रथमा विभक्ति सॉरी इट इज अ प्रथमा विभक्ति इट इज अन ए सो इट इज संबोधन प्रथमा विभक्ति प्रथमा विभक्ति अष्टमी विभक्ति इट इज प्रथमा विभक्ति इट इज नॉट अष्टमी सो इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रथमा Prathama it's like wa- prathama is one and you can say one a is sambodhana it's still okay. uh, yeah so uh, eka vachanam eka vachanam matuhu ma matuhu uh, yeah, matuhu is uh, again ma uh, rikaranta strilinga matri shabdah uh, uh, shashti vibhakti eka vachanam perfect Okay, so tava matu hu brata kidrusho bandhu hu. What relative is your mother's brother? Now we are moving to the mother's side, maternal. Matu hu brata matu lah kalu. Mother's brother is matu lah, right? Hmm. Matu lah, mama. Hmm. Yeah. Am matu hu bhagini. Hmm. uh mother's sister hmm matuhu bagini matrashvasa kila mother's hmm. sister is matrashvasa right hmm so you see the 
the usage of these two words, both khalu, kila, both mean the same thing. Okay, indeed, kila, khalu. Matrishvasa, again, it is also formed in the same manner as pitrishvasa. You have matrishvasa. Matrishvasa. Mama pita, tava katham bandhu. Hey, Shekhar, my father is what kind of relationship to you? Okay. Pituhu, pitahi, pitamaha. Father's father is Pitamaha. Mm, grandfather. Okay. Grandfather. So he also is used in the place of Kila and Kalu. That is also mean that also means indeed. So can you tell me what is Shekhara, the word Shekhara? Anta, you know, in that format. Me or Arun? No, I, I want Arun Mahadev to say this stuff. Okay, Shekara is a Akaranta Pullinga Shabda Shekara Shabda Akarantaha Pullingaha Shekara Shabda Shekara Shabda Sambodana Prathama Vibhakti Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachanam. Yes. Why is it not Bahuachanam? Is Shekhar right? Is... Huh. Meaning wise, you understand that it is one boy who is there. That's fine. But what would it have been if it was in Bahuachanam? Shekara. Shekara. Visargam. Shekara. Visargam without a Visargam there. With the Visarga. Okay. Okay. Huh. Next slide. Um, Mama Mata. What um, about my mother? My mother? Hmm. My mother. Pituhu Mata Pita Mahi. Father's mother is Pita Mahi. Hmm. Grandmother. Yeah. If, if there are people who have done Shraddham or you have heard people doing Shraddham, then you will know Matra, Pita, Mahi, Prapita, Mahi and all they will say, right? Pitra, Pita, Maha, Prapita, Maha. No. Yes, three generations. Yes. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Radhe, Tava Matuhu Pita, Tava Katham Banduhu. Mm -hmm. Hey Radha, your mother's father is what kind of relationship to you how is he related to you so how is katham he is how, how? so okay. katham banduhu how is he a relative to you tava hmm. matuhu pita mata maho bhavati hmm. mother's so, father is maternal grandfather Ah, so, Mata Mahaha Bhavati. Hmm. Next. Aam. Tava Matuhu Mata? Yes. Hmm. Your mother's mother? Hmm. Mata Mahi Kila? Hmm. Uh, grandmother? Indeed. Ah, so, how do you uh, construct the sentence like this? As an answer? Matu, matuhu uh, Matuhu Mata Mata Mahikila. Hmm. Good. Uh, next. Sadhu. Samya Kuktam. Evam Anyepi Bandavaha Santi. Tan Vadami. Shrunu. Hmm. Sadhu. Good. Sadhu. Good. Samya Kuktam. Well said. Yes. Well said. Huh. Evam uh, uh, Anyepi. Uh, uh, any other relationships are there? Relatives. So, relatives evam relatives in this manner, yeah. uh, in this manner, any api other relatives are also present. Tan yes. vadami. I will talk about them. Shrunu, listen to it. Yeah. Hmm. So, Taan each uh, one can just uh, do a couple of uh, 
four you can take turns and say four of those okay ha okay pautrah putras by the way i think we mentioned this earlier also it should be shrunu as in rukara even the earlier one there was a mistake shrunu um i think we saw here also it is not shru but it is shr okay this is how it should be written ah ah uh, uh, yeah um uh, yeah you want to take four right so yeah yeah go to four by four and finish the lesson arun ji your turn okay pautrah putrasy putrah hmm pautrah is well, tell me the meaning ha pautrah pautrah is sons son yes perfect pautri putrasy putri pautri hmm. is daughters no no putrasy putri a son's daughter yes ha so putrasy what is that word of, yeah. of son okay. from son or of son Shashi. okay parse and tell me antaha shabdaha ella oh idu putrasya va ama oh putra tra i need a help there is a raha so putraha irka putra okay putraha uh, is a uh, akaranta shabda right uh, pullinga uh, putra shabda putra shabdaha putra shabdaha hmm प्रथमा विभक्ति ऑफ़ विभक्ति एक वचन ओके गुड नेक्स्ट दौहित्र दौहित्र दुहितु पुत्र Dohitra is I don't I don't know what ah, is Dohita. Now this is a word you don't know. So Dohita is a daughter. Do putri children only. Putri is a daughter. The same way Dohita is also a daughter, but it's a Rikaranta uh, um, Dohitra shabda. Rikar like matr you have Dohitra shabda. Rikaranta ha Strilinga ha Dohitra shabda ha. दुहितुहु इज इन षष्टि विभक्ति बहुवचन सॉरी एकवचन एकवचन षष्टि विभक्ति ही एकवचन सो दुहितुहु पुत्र हा डॉटर्स सन डॉटर्स सन दुहित्र हा पत्रिका எழுதி பாத்திருக்கேளா படிச்சிருக்கேளா பத்திரிகையில எல்லாம் दुहित्रन அதுதான் எழுது पौत्रन என்னுடைய पुत्रியாக இவா இன்னாருடைய दुहित्रन அப்படினா दुहित्री எழுதுவாங்க दुहित्री दुहितु पुत्री डॉटर्स डॉटर यस सुजन श्वशुरु श्वशुरह भर्तृहु भार्याया वा पिता सो भर्तुहु भर्ता अगेन इज हस्बैंड दिस इज अ सो लाइक पितुहु व्हेन यू सॉ पितुहु द सेम वे यू विल हैव टू talk of the bhartri. tell me bhartuhu ah bhartri shabda bhartri yeah. shabda rikaranta pullinga bhartri shabda shashti vibhakti ekavachanam okay bharyaya ha bharya uh, akaranta strilinga bharya shabda shashti vibhakti ekavachanam okay so bhartuhu bharyaya ha va pita father of either the husband or the wife is shwashuraha father in law shwashruhu 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 bhartruhu bhartuhu bharyaya va mata uh, mother in law uh, hmm. husband or wife's mother ha ah, so this there is should actually be a visarga here in both cases but it is removed because of sandhi okay oh ah. bhaginayah a ah, bhaginayah bhaginayah sorry bhaginayah bhaginyah putra ah uh, nephew uh, sister's son ha ah, sister's son bhaginayah 
भागे ने यहाँ स्नुषा पुत्र पत्नी डॉटर इन लॉ सन्स वाइफ वाइफ ओके सो भगिन्या टेल मी व्हाट इज दिस भगिनी भगिनी स्त्रीलिंग भगिनी शब्द षष्ठी विभक्ति एक वचन नाउ यू नो दैट रिलेशन आर ऑल मोर एवरीथिंग इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन षष्ठी विभक्ति हियर राइट बिकॉज यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ बिलोंगिंग टू हियर नेक्स्ट जामाता दुहितु पति ही जामाता इज डॉटर्स हस्बैंड सन इन लॉ सन इन लॉ प्रजावती भ्रातु भार्या प्रजावती इज भ्रातु ब्रदर्स वाइफ यस देवर पत्यु राज ब्रदर राधे पितृश्वसु पुत्र माधव कीदृशो कीदृश बंधु हे राधे योर पित्र योर फादर सिस्टर सन माधव इज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिलेटिव हम्म ओके लज्जया मौनम वहति साइलेंट विद शेम या विद शाइनेस शेम आकारंत स्त्रीलिंग शब्द स्त्रीलिंग लज्जा शब्द 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 With shame, so that is shasti vibhakti ek vachan. Alle with the band third case. So oh, by with through. Vibhakti. Okay. Tritiya vibhakti hi. So off and with. Okay, with tritiya vibhakti ek vachan. Hmm. So lajjaya maunam vahati. She keeps silent with uh, shyness. Hmm. Arun, What Arun. is vahati exactly? Vahati okay. na bearing na. Yeah. कतू कर दे इवन यू कैन आल्सो यूज इट भारम वहति ही कैरीज अ लोड अदकुन चलला द नदी वहति नदी फ्लोस दैट मीनिंग इज आल्सो देयर सो हियर शी जस्ट बेयर्स साइलेंस अरुण अरुण व्हाट आर द थ्री लिंगस इन संस्कृत पुल्लिंग नपुसलिंग एंड पुल्लिंग पुल्लिंग स्त्रीलिंग मराठी 
வேற தே சே திபக் திபாலி தி தீபக்கே வராத வாழ்க்கை இந்த ரீஜனல் லாங்குவேஜஸ்ல யூஸ் ஷார்ட் இ தேர் ஆம் தவ ஆம் தவ பைத்ரேய அத்தப்புள்ளவ மம ஜாமாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்சாத்தாச்
Is that Sabha or Sama? Last one. Ha, sama. Ha. Sama. Okay. Uh, e equal. Hmm. Okay. மேல நம்ம வந்து சேர்க்கறது இல்ல I think they, I think, uh, say the rule, like, Pitru Prabhitama Ye Bhyaha Vinandu. Pitru Prabhitama Ha Ha Ha. Okay. So they keep on adding those things. Grandfathers, grandfathers, same kind of thing. Ah, okay. There is no one. If you say the word of the Nandhi, the generation of the generation, what they use in the world. I don't know about that. Okay. Usually, இந்த இதுக்கெல்லாம் சொல்றச்சே ஸ்ராப்தத்துக்கு சொல்றச்சே மூணு ஜென்ரேஷன் தான் சேப்பா பித்ரு பிதாமகா அண்ட் பிரபிதாமகா இஸ் வாட் ஐ நோ ஐ திங்க் தி ஒன்லி அதர் பிளேஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு லுக் அட் நாந்தி ஸ்ராப்தம் வேர் செவன் ஜென்ரேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் சேம் நாந்தி ஸ்ராப்தம் ஐ மீன் வாட் இஸ் இட் வாட் இஸ் இட் நாந்தி இது வந்து ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஃபங்க்ஷன் वी ஹேவ் பூனல் இருந்ததுனா இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் யக்ஞோகவித தாரணம் அதுக்கு முன்னாடி அந்த நாந்தி ஸ்ராப்தம் ன்னு பண்ணுவா தேர் ஆர் செவன் பீப்பிள் அண்ட் ஏழு திவாள வரிப்பா ஐ அம் நாட் ஷூர் whether they see pitru pitamaha prapitamaha matru matamaha edo or kanakunde enak i'm not sure what they do with like adu nambliyum seithu motham naal generation dhan porudhu adukaprom munnadi moonu generation venum irukku nu nanaikiren adla adu matram dhan paakanum enak dharma shastram book irukku adla vena paathu solren nandi yaarku eduthu kudutha adu Nandi Shraddham is, na, for every function, you, you do it as uh, uh, Hiranyam. You don't do it as a full uh, Inda Shraddham. It's not a home and a lot of Shraddham. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, that's why you have to say that 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 you have to say that. And then, you have to say that. Yeah. The Shraddham is done on a Titi. Nandi Shardram is just appeasing your forefathers. It can be done any time. Any good function also they yeah. do it. Uh, uh-huh. Just appeasing your forefathers. It's mm. got nothing to do with the date. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Generic. Generic. Uh-huh. Generic. இப்போ இது பொண்களுக்கு லேடிஸ்க்கு வந்து இது பண்றோம் சுமங்கலி பிரார்த்தனை மங்கலி பொண்டுகள்னு ஒண்ணு பண்ணுவோம் அது வந்து இட் இஸ் ஓன்லி இட் டசன்ட் ஃபாலோ எனி திதி ஆஃப் தேர் இது அந்த மாதிரி நாந்தீஸ்வரம் ஃபார் தி மென் ஓகே ஓகே